What's up, Zox fam? We're back with some more Dislike. Now, we're going to be getting into the Jin Chu true build, okay? Now, again, a very, very important point that a lot of you guys mentioned on the last video is that he is a true damage scaler, so there is no crit required. Now, granted, I didn't have a lot of crit on him, but the build that I put on him was a crit damage attack percent, attack percent, where it could have just been an attack percent, attack percent. And I'll show you guys that current build. Uh, but again, I do appreciate you guys that did say something because that is a very, very valid point so i figured we would take the opportunity to not only re-showcase him but also show him with hilda since some of you guys are asking about that uh now the thing about that is disclaimer hilda's very strong but she is going to have her debuffs proccing when his so that might kind of like take away from some of the damage that he should be doing but again i think it's worthwhile still showing because they really are a really nice combination that i've found so far uh so with that uh as far as the build goes okay because i'm not going to re reiterate the kit necessarily um i'll obviously go over it again once we're in combat um but we're going with the war set we're doing attack percent on the ring but we're also doing attack percent on the headphones and also attack percent on the boots now it could be argued that you could also go with like a defense percent if you really want to but in my opinion i would probably end up doing defensive sub stats at that point because again this is like kind of like a entry build this isn't necessarily like the build um uh, for him because I would say there's no relic boosting or any of that not even any of these pieces are like fine-tuned rolled they're like at most double rolled into a stat whereas typically I'm aiming for triple to quadruple if I can minimum so that kind of will vary there um, but we do have the stone vine so the stone vine is going to be giving you 25% more defense so that should help out with the scaling sum all right uh, now with that the team comp we're using T Hilda we're also using uh, Jin Chu Leon and then the Ashley that some of you guys were also also mentioning now again I think the main unit I swapped in was Gabby instead so that, that could emphasize more Jin Chu but you'll see off rip the combination that they have all right so hopefully no one gets taunted here like it's this last ad dude he loves taunting nice we resisted it okay so cool we can get a true example here so we're gonna go for the strip here get as many as we can that's cool now we're gonna go for the defense up in the shield so we are still gonna be getting that and establishing that from Leon so we have that now we're going for an attack up so that gives us essentially three buffs per person unless they have like that extra immunity that is coming from leon's divinate so i just want to throw that out there now let's also go with the hilda s3 now we got a good amount yeah so we got four defense breaks now the thing that we're going to be doing here obviously we're going to be s 2 first that's going to be actually going into the amplification of the base stats which again Keep in mind, he can't crit. So that's going to be the important thing here, right? So we're going to go for that, get the bonus turn. Um, and now we're going to S3. Now look at the damage that's coming out of this. And this is why I said this is more too true of a build, um, at least the base entry to it, right? So let's go ahead, do our S3. 72K, okay? That's a huge difference. Now, obviously, using him with Hilda, you didn't have the procking of them going to sleep. The only catch 22 to that is the fact that Convict uh, is actually a ability that uh, when the carrier attacks, um, so they need to actually be going. So that's the only catch 22 to using him with Hilda uh, is that she actually will sleep him or sleep the enemies. Um, so it actually prevents them from going all together, which doesn't proc the Convict. Um, and that's why I said like you can, you know, you might have some conflicting damage scaling there when you're trying to test them out together uh but all all in all if they are going which again we'll just go ahead and wake them up here stride oh, oh, or she's just gonna stun everybody <laughs> there's just that uh so we're just gonna attack the guy that's up now this also too you're not getting any crit so 18k on that that's what he's been averaging on this build which seems to be pretty solid and then we're just gonna let everybody else just kind of wake up uh, so that they can rotate. Now, this poisons are going to do quite a bit, but you're also going to notice that Jinchu is getting a fair amount of turns because he is getting a 30% push. Like, look at that. Every single person here that also is taking that damage is also rotating him. Um, so that's another thing that kind of comes with that ability. So uh, again, if you look at it, so it says true damage to max HP. When they take damage, the caster's AP is plus 10% and it triggers once per turn. So this is just when they take damage um, because again, 
the convict itself is when they, or at least the first portion of it, is when the carrier attacks. The second portion is when they actually take damage. So if they're taking damage anyway, he's still getting a 10% AP push. So that's kind of the catch-22 to the ability. It's like, even okay, they don't get to go, he's still going to be getting an AP push either way. So it is kind of nice either way for him um and again that's just basically like the run <laughs> like that's basically the team comp now we're gonna extra turn this um you know obviously hitting attribute advantages that shoots him up to 19k there uh, actually uh does get some uh damage there but you can see that roughly or relatively his damage and hilda's damage they both equally did about almost half she did about half and he did the other percentage of damage but then she also offered a certain level of support so again if hilda wasn't in this equation and say you were just using a defense breaker you would actually see a huge shift in that damage like for example we'll actually do this again with the gabby so i just wanted to show you guys with hilda what she looks like or what he looks like uh so let me actually go and find my gabby hopefully we can get a solid run where she doesn't get like like you know <laughs> like any type of taunt like nobody please no one gets taunted okay there we go all right so here we go we're gonna do the same thing now i just want to show you guys this without that right so we're getting that defense up um and shield coming from leon so we're not going to do that with gabby we're just going for defense breaks we got them on everyone now we're going into s3 cool shield attack up now we got slightly more uh more buffs here so we're gonna go into that pump fatigue now we only have that one defense break uh so again this is just kind of showing like just the bare minimum and this is going to be the scaling that you get right so 50k there so it's about 20k difference um which again i would argue you would then want to probably use them with someone that can stack debuffs like a hilda for example there's a 20k damage difference uh, and keep in mind this is like one of those things it's not like this huge variant because of the fact that uh he's not critting so that's just his damage uh now with that the units are actually going to be going and so with that he's going to also be getting those ap pushes let's go ahead and drop that immunity and then we'll just s1 and this is just to kind of give you an idea you see that that red above their head is showing the true damage taking effect that is based off of their max hp so it's 2k right um that's happening so obviously that's going to vary based off of you know the enemy um at that point but uh as long as they have that convict on they will be taking that damage so this one right here should be going another 2.7k right above his head right um so with that you just basically have everybody this is all damage he did this is not damage from anyone else you know so now we go into another rotation he loses some health that's fine and then we get an 18k uh 18k crit wow <laughs> 18k uh regular hit uh just just scaling off of true damage there so there's that um so yeah he's doing that right there and then let's see we're gonna go s1 so again he gets another uh push and this is something that you also want to take advantage of guys is that every single time he hits he gets a 10 percent ap push every single time or every time the enemy gets hit he gets a 10 percent ap push now you go to reapply that boom okay cool even if there is nothing there now watch this watch aoe boom he gets a push so either way look at him rotating he has no speed i have zero speed on him he is rotating before his other you know allies now we're gonna go ahead lando's defense breaks and again this is just showing how he mechanically works to give you a better idea which is why i feel like in a sense like he is going to be you know obviously better than like javid um because he is going to have that huge utility boost with him being able to rotate um and because he is able to have it to where basically it's kind of like yun chuan uh if he is able to or his allies are hitting um they are essentially going to be not instead of it proccing but it's going to be doing you know damage and then of course also giving him the ap push so that's a huge huge thing uh for his kit so we should be coming up to an end here and i want to end this off so that you guys can actually see the damage counter um because in this kind of comp he would actually be the main source of D of dps essentially um which is fair i feel like but again if you have him on like say for example max skill ups then that's also going to be you know faster for example he's going to be getting that s2 off a lot quicker um because it's going to put it at a two turn cooldown 
Um, and that is going to be, again, very problematic. But you see how we hit one is spread that damage out to the others as well. So it is it is just like, I, I don't know, man, like the guy, I, I actually really like how his kit is. Um, again, it's just making sure he has that proper build. Right. So this almost is done. Um, I actually hopefully hoping nobody dies here. Let's get a stun there. S2. Give us a pushback. Let's go into that again. So yeah, he he does he does pretty well on damage. And I mean, again, I made sure that everybody else is either like pretty weak, um, either not fully built or doesn't really have much gear on. So that is more of an emphasis on the damage that he's able to bring to the table. So right there, dead. Uh, and then that should be GG right there. And then so for example, he does. 72% of the damage by himself uh, in this kind of comp. So again, like I said, using him with someone else, that just means you're going to be getting amplified damage. It will be much faster in four minutes. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to be that. Again, like I said, I still have to have testing done for how he's going to be at end game with a fine tuned build as far as relic boosting, um, trying him out on the relief set. But I hope that this was able to give you guys more perspective. And again, shout out to those of you guys that mentioned uh, the build on the first video, because I definitely want to try to make sure I'm getting you guys the correct information as much as I possibly can. So I appreciate that. I hope you guys stay blessed and I'll catch you guys in the next one.